Bye bye t-shirt. So sad. Then you fold either side to the middle and you have yourself cloth face covering. It's that easy. Hello, I'm Neil Mossy. Welcome back to The Happy Hut. Usually I'm a tightwad dad, just trying to be happy with what we've already got, like these words on the screen say. But right now we're in the great shutdown of 2020 and every day I'm trying to find something new. And today it's this. So this is, foot, as you can see, footage of me in Lidl wearing a face mask. It's my, my first time, my first trip to a supermarket with a face mask. Obviously, I, there was no one who could hold the camera for me, so I just propped it up on a shelf <laughs> and walked past. You'd think I'd be more uncomfortable with that than the wearing the face mask. But look at me, I'm, I'm getting milk and, I, and I'm breathing on a much smaller radius. <laughs> but my face mask is homemade. And this is how you make a DIY face mask. That's, that's the video. And if you're looking this up on, on YouTube, firstly, hello, welcome, say hi in the comments. It'd be lovely to hear from you. But if you are looking up how to make a DIY face mask on YouTube, you've probably been through exactly the same thought process as me. If you just want to jump straight to making the face mask, I'll put the, the time on the screen now. Uh, this really pushes a button for some people. If, if face masks aren't your thing, I think it might be best if you hit stop now and I'll see you on the next video. But for the rest of us, hello. And I completely understand why this, this really pushes a button for some people and they leave the comments, you know, Ooh, you're not a doctor, Ooh, it's not effective, Ooh, N95. I, I get it, but this video, this video is of a, a doctor in New York. He just happens to be an intensive care respiratory expert as well. But he, he made uh, this video call to his family where he's explaining that the reason that he wears a face mask is to stop him touching his face. And I touch my face all the time. Most of the day I spend with my head in my hands. Look, here's a photo that a friend took of me at work. And this is, this is what I look like all the time with my head in my hands. So I know from wearing my son's smelly scarf that this is 100% effective in stopping me touching my face. I don't need a face mask, I need a head mask. I need one of those cones that dogs wear, you know when they've been to the vets? So I wanted to do this obviously as lazily as possible and I found this video. It's of the United States Surgeon General showing you how to make it. All you need is a t-shirt and two rubber bands. And here are all my t-shirts. Yeah, I, I know what you're thinking, but you know, we did Marie Kondo. We did it a few years ago. So that's why it's so neat. But we did it a few years ago, which is why there are so many. And this is a very sad day. Two of these guys are gonna get the chop, quite literally. But which two? I have three t-shirts that are in constant rotation. They're not in here right now because they're either wearing it or it's on the floor or they've just come out the wash. This one survives, doesn't even go into the drawer. And so does this one and so does this one. Usually I don't like writing on my t-shirts. I don't like people reading my chest. Messy Darth Vader, keep. Happy computer emoticon thing, keep. Tour de France thing, have I got a mark on it? Mm. I'll keep. This is my oldest t-shirt, this is an antique. I need TP for my bunghole. I can't cut this up, but the thought of having Beavis on my face is very appealing. That might go into the maybe pile. <laughs> Even though it's my oldest t-shirt, Los Polos Hermanos from Breaking Bad. I haven't worn this for about six months, but I don't think I can cut it up. Keep martial arts t-shirt, uh, keep more writing. Usually I prefer pictures, uh, keep that one. That's definitely got a mark on it, isn't it? Now this is a strange one. This is from, hang on, it's from my infant school when they had a big reunion because they're demolishing the school. I'll put a link to the video up top and in the description. It's Holy Infants. Ah, I think this might go into the maybe pile because I haven't worn it for a year. I've worn it on a couple of videos. T-shirt with a collar, fancy. That's for my formal wear. So the T-shirt is the uniform for my midlife crisis or um, midriff crisis. Keep. 
I can't tell you what it is I'm using to choose which t-shirts to cut up. I think it's the, the Con Marie method, the Marie Kondo method of holding it, feeling if it sparks joy. This sparks joy. Keep. I love this one because my long suffering wife hates it because it's got so many holes. It's more holes than t-shirt. Rodent food. Look at that. I love it. Keep. Now I like this one because it makes me look like Stefan from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I won't do the impression. Well. I'm good. I've just been up for three days. <laughs> hey, maybe I should have a shot of me wearing it. I'm good. I've just been up for three days. <laughs> Stefan. Another martial arts t-shirt. Keep. Another martial arts t-shirt. Keep. Another martial arts t-shirt. Keep. I'm not sure about this. I got this from, from Disneyland, so I like the, the memories from it. I'm not the slimmest guy in the world, but I like my t-shirts tight. This is a little generous. It's just, a, it's just really wide. This is definitely going into the maybe part. I've not worn it for two years. It used to have a really good design. <laughs> a row of cartoon gnomes, sort of vintage look, and a line underneath, rolling with my gnomies. It has gone. So all it there is left is t-shirt. It feels like cheating, but I think this is definite, definite maybe. Camera Labs. Check out the Camera Labs channel at the top. Gordon Lang. See, I bought your merch. I couldn't cut this up, although it'd be extra advertising for your channel. All I want on is a perfect camera. Oh no, it's the wrong channel. <laughs> I've got three of these. I used to go jogging in them. It's the late show, the late, late show with Craig Kilborn. For me, the best late, late show. Sorry to all the other hosts. And it had the best merch. So I bought a second one and then I bought a third one. Definite keep. I might start jogging again one day. Which leaves this. It, it does not spark joy anymore. It just leaves me cold. I quite literally. I suppose I could make a mask with the graphic. I can't wear it with the words because it would just say old. Old what? I do like the faded blue. Definite maybe. You know, the real problem about putting videos on YouTube is that sometimes you feel like you 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 might be sharing too much. But I think I just shared. So this is the final shortlist, the Deadly Five. <laughs> Look, I've got paint on it. So that's oh, it's keep. It's that way. I, I don't think I could wear that on my face. That would be keep but not for any good reason. I don't want a white mask because I know what state it's going to look like <laughs> on my face. There's no way I'm going to keep this white. So it's in the keep. So that leaves rolling with my nomies and this. I did it. So these are the ones. Let's hack them up. Hey, I don't know if you're in lockdown as well, by the way, but I've not put my wallet in my pocket for about two months. It's brilliant. So these are the two t-shirts that are going to get it. The first method we're going to try is from the US Surgeon General, Dr. Jerome Adams. Here's how you can make your own face covering in a few easy steps with items you can find around the house. Oh my goodness, look, state of me up against that. Or you can make a face covering out of an old t-shirt. Fold it to the middle from the bottom. Fold it to the middle from the top. Fold it again to the middle from the bottom. Look, it's folding. Look at mine. Uh, <laughs> now, the great thing with this method is that it doesn't need any sewing. All you need is two elastic bands, which I've got. The great thing about being British is that obviously we have elastic bands on the pavements scattered around the country. But I've not picked these up from the pavement. I've picked them up from my kitchen drawer. It's brilliant. There's no sewing. But the problem I had is that if you do it just with the whole T-shirt, it sort of looks like this, which um, is OK. It sort of works, but uh, I wanted to go for something a bit smaller. I feel bad enough being in Lidl at all, let alone being in Lidl looking like this. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is cut it up, which they don't tell you to do on the video. Bye bye t-shirt. Thank you for your service. So sad. On the upside, I've now got a little crop top. So I'm gonna follow the instructions this way, so put it sideways. Here's how you can make your own face covering in a few easy steps with items you can find around the house, like an old scarf, a bandana or a hand towel, or you can make a face covering out of an old t-shirt. Fold it to the middle from the bottom. Fold it to the middle from the top. 
fold it again to the middle from the bottom and again from the top. And then two rubber bands, one on one side and one on the other side. Then you fold either side to the middle and you have yourself cloth face covering. It's that easy. I like that. It still feels a bit puddingy. It just feels a bit large. I don't know how to lose the bulk. The story of my life. I think I need to find a way so that it's not quite as bulky. Maybe I should cut the t-shirt in half again. Let's try that. Then cut that half in half again. Fold it to the middle from the bottom. Fold it to the middle from the top. Fold it again to the middle from the bottom and again from the top. And then two rubber bands, one on one side and one on the other side. Then you fold either side to the middle and you have yourself cloth face covering. It's that easy. That's the one. I can't tell if it's dangling down. The only downside with it is now that I've worn it for 30 seconds, my ears aren't coping very well with the elastic bands. Yeah. Maybe if I if I double up the elastic bands, oh, look at that, it's pink. That, is, that is gonna annoy me. Okay, so I went and got the two, ow, extra elastic bands, and I might make it a bit wider as well, so it's not so far to go for my ears. That feels just right. So those are the dimensions. It sort of looks like this. About 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters. That for me is the perfect length. And if it's too small for you and you've got plenty of t-shirt left to uh, <laughs> try again. Do you know what? It's much better with the two rubber bands as well. So all that's left to do now is to try it out in an actual supermarket. Here I am. This is me in Lidl. So this is like literally the only place on earth where I can get this thing right now. It, it works out really well, but I just, I'm, I'm not used to wearing the face mask out in public. It feels like you are making yourself the other, uh, especially if you're around people who aren't wearing face masks. If you're not, that's absolutely fine. I just don't want to smell you, that's all. And also, I don't want to touch my face. But you'd think if I was that worried about not getting it, that maybe I'd put off buying Papa Doms and pizza bread and <laughs> some potting cotton post. The other th it, right, this is the other thing as well, it feels really rude wearing the mask. And I, I just wanna like pull it down to say hello. Anyway, I hope this, this video has helped. If you wanna make a DIY face mask without doing any sewing whatsoever, and if you want to express your awesomeness by hitting the thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate that. Or say hello in the comments below. And have you made a face mask? Have you copied this yourself? If you have, let me know how you get on. Let me know how you're getting on with the face mask situation because I'm still not feeling entirely comfortable with it. And good luck on your face covered shopping. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.